Now, children, your homework assignment for over the weekend is to write a short paper on why I love Santa Claus. Also, don't forget to practice the songs for the upcoming Christmas concert with your parents and family. Aren't you excited? Christmas is only two weeks away. I've also sent a reminder home for your Christmas, parents about Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Mrs. Johnson? Yeah, Ahmed, honey. Remember I told you that my family is Muslim and we don't celebrate Christmas? Oh, that's okay, Ahmed. This is America. Everybody celebrates Christmas here. There's nothing wrong with Santa Claus. It's just all so much fun for you children. Just wait and see. You'll love it. The tree, the presents. What a wonderful time of year. Your family should be so grateful to be living here. If there's any problem, tell Mom she's always welcome to come in and talk to me about anything, Alma. Okay, Mrs. Johnson. I'll tell her. My teacher doesn't understand anything. She can't even say my name right. All his classmates were so excited. They talked of nothing else. It seemed like this was the only thing that mattered to anyone. They weren't even doing their regular schoolwork anymore. It had snowed last night, and kids were laughing and pelting each other with snowballs as he walked home. Every house he passed seemed to outdo the next one with holiday decorations. Colors of red and green seemed even brighter against the fresh snow. All the lights will be on tonight for sure. His friends had put their Christmas trees up and were writing their last minute wish lists for Santa Claus. Ahmed was really tired of trying to explain why his family didn't do all these things. And to be honest, he was feeling really gloomy about being left out of all the celebrations. Ahmed trudged up the steps of his very obviously bare house and opened the door. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Uh-oh. Got the Christmas blues again, honey? Christmas homework, Christmas concerts, Christmas presents, Christmas trees. Honey, this is not easy for any of us. And I know it's especially hard on you. We're the only Muslim family here. Your teacher thinks she's just being nice to want everyone to join in the fun, but we just can't. She said you can go in and talk to her any time. I can, and I will if you want me to. But it'll be so much better for you and Mrs. Johnson if it comes from you. Why don't you go change your clothes? We'll have a little snack and clear the air with some Quran homework. Okay, Mom. Ahmed's mother worked with him every day after school, learning Arabic and surahs from the Holy Quran. She told these great stories about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam too. He always felt much better after that. After their snack, they sat down to read their surahs together. Let's start with Surah Al-Ikhlas today, okay? Okay. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalad wa lam yulad wa lam yakun lahu kufwan ahad. Good, honey. Your pronunciation's getting much better. Just don't forget the tajweed rule at the end, okay? Now, tell me what it means. The surah? Uh-huh. Say Allah is one, the eternal, the absolute. He begets not, nor is he begotten, and there is none like him. Well, that's what the book says. Now, what can you tell me about its meaning? Uh, well, قُلْ, that means say or tell everybody. Who Allah, who Ahad, who was he? Allah, of course, is Allah. Is Ahad, uh... Do you know what Wahid means? Like Wahid, Ithnain, Thalatha... Wahid is Arabic for one. Wahid, Ahad. Oh, Wahid, Ahad, I get it. Ahad is a very special form of the word one, Wahid, that is only used to describe Allah and nothing else. Altogether it means... Say Allah is one, a special kind of one. That's right. When you think about it, in the entire world there seems to be two of everything, whether pairs of things, or opposites like night and day, boys and girls. Once in summer. Two eyes, two ears, right foot, left foot. One nose. Two nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like for everything there is either a pair of like things or a pair of opposites except Allah. So Allah is unique. Nothing else like Him. Smart boy, mashallah. 
Now let's go on. Allah Samad. Allah, I know. Samad. Mom, I'm stuck. That's a big important word, Samad. Even grown ups have trouble understanding all that it means. But for now, we can say that it means Allah is the real thing. He's not a story or something someone has made up. It means that Allah has always existed. He has no beginning and has no end. He will never die. Now, that little verse that's going to help us about Christmas. Lam yalad wa lam yulad. Lam means no or not. Yalad means to have children. Allah is the creator. When Allah wants to create something, He simply wills it to be, and that thing is. Yulid means to have parents. Allah has no mother or father. No one created Allah. There is nothing and no one like Him, which is what the last ayah tells us. We know as Muslims that Allah definitely does not have a son. He wouldn't be Allah if He had to do things the way His creatures do. So. What is Christmas all about then? Christmas is for people who believe that Allah has a son and they celebrate his birthday on that day. And all the rest that goes with it Christmas trees, Santa Claus, decorations, songs it all has to do with Christmas, whether directly or indirectly. Allah wants us to understand in Surah Al Ikhlas that these things are not for us as Muslims. Who do they say is the Son of God? It's Isa or Jesus, alayhi salam, peace be upon him. Is he Allah's son? No, but he was a great prophet, and Muslims respect him a lot and always ask Allah to bless him. Ahmed, you're doing so well, mashallah. Even though Isa salam, is one of our prophets, it still doesn't make it right to celebrate Christmas. We shouldn't join in even the smallest parts of celebrations that mix up the worship of Allah with worshiping other beings, even if it's one of his prophets. And the good news is that Eid is just around the corner this year, and we'll have our own celebration soon. Eid, all right. I almost forgot. Ahmed, you know your teacher, Mrs. Johnson? She's really a nice lady. I'm sure if you talk to her about it, she would let you tell your class about our holiday. Oh, yeah. Cool, Mom. Can you help me prepare some stuff, Mom? Can we work on it together? Don't we have that great book about Ramadan? Oh, yeah. I'll go get it. Okay, we'll get going right away. Cool. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد صدق الله العظيم